In this video, we will look into Azure DevOps Boards. Azure DevOps Boards is a powerful project management tool that allows you to plan, track, and manage your software development. With Azure DevOps Boards, you can create and manage work items such as tasks, bugs, epics, and features and track their progress throughout the software development lifecycle. You can also use boards to create custom workflows, manage backlogs, and visualize project progress with dashboards and reports. Let's start looking into all the processes that is available with Azure DevOps boards. If you are looking into my screen, you can see there are four basic four processes that Azure DevOps provides. The first one is the basic, the second is agile, third is scrum, and the fourth is CMMI. Basic is a simpler process template that is designed for smaller organizations or teams that may not have as formalized or complex development process. If you see, these are the work items available. Epics. Epics can be defined as a large piece of work, like if you have a huge feature that's coming up or a, something that you that will have multiple tasks involved, then you create an epic and then you create multiple tasks under this and you, uh, you know, link it to the parent epic. If you look at the backlog levels, the portfolio backlogs, which is epics, then the requirement backlog, the iteration backlog. So this is the basic uh, process. If you see the projects which are assigned, the Fitness Geek IAC is currently using my basic uh, process. The next is the Agile. The next is Agile. Agile is a flexible approach that emphasizes collaboration, customer feedback, and iterative development. These are the work item types available in our Agile process. Bug, Epic, Feature, Issue, Task, and the use, User Story. You can read through the description and you will have an idea of what that particular work item does. When you have a, you know, when you plan for a project, uh, when you plan for a task, there would be an epic which will have multiple tasks assigned to it. It might have, it will have a feature in it and so on. This is all about the agile work item types. Let's go back to the all processes and the scrum. Scrum is another agile framework that focuses on a fixed set of work items or sprints and emphasizes transparency, inspection, and adaptation. These are the work type work item types available. The last one is the CMMI, which is Capability Maturity Model Integration. Uh, it's a process improvement approach that provides a structural framework for evaluating and improving an organization's software development process. It is mainly used by huge, you know, large enterprises where the software development process is not uh, that well defined. So the CMI process template is typically used by complex development processes. Now let's look at the options available for each process uh, from this page. If I go and select the three dots and see what are the options available. If I click on it, you can create a new project with this process. You can create a new process inheriting the Scrum. Uh, you can have a custom process. You can set it as default. You can disable it and you'll have some security options. If you see at the right side that there are these are the projects which are currently using our Scrum uh, process. Uh, this is where you can change the process. If you have created a new project and you want to change the process that uh, it, it inherits or it already has, like if it was a default as basic and you want to change it to Scrum, you do it from here. Uh, you need to know, note that if you make any changes, if there are any uh, work items already created, you will need to change them according to your new process. 
so uh, it tells you what you need to do uh, steps to manually update your work items and board settings it will ask you to change the uh, mappings and you'll need to uh, update your existing work items uh, this will be done according uh, and you you know you can use this particular instruction video as well and that that's how you change the process of an uh, existing project and now let's create a new custom process so if you click on this and you create an inherited process you can define your own process which will be you know uh, based on scrum and you can create your own work items for that for example if if you have a scrum and you want to add some new work items you can create your own process for example uh, let's just you know go through the process of creating a custom process uh, we will be inheriting the scrum so you give a description and then you create a process now if you see you have option to add a work item you cl click on that uh, for example i want to create a new work item type for my uh, it tasks for example if there are some dns changes or some something related to infrastructure or, or any any kind of you know those kind of tasks that you need that you want the it team which is not your uh, specific devops team or or your developers team to do that you can create I, i'll create a work item for that uh, you will assign an icon i'll use this icon here you can change the color of that let me use yellow and i'll go ahead and create it so this will create the work item for me you can see the it task here and I would add a description you can go ahead and edit that you can add a description and just save so this is the task for like I'll just put a description that it is intra related task and I'll just save it and that's it so we have created a custom uh, process for our project so when if I create a new project and you know, I, I can use this process for my projects now let's try so let's to disable, disable one, of the, disable one process. of the process this is also an option that you have uh, go to cmmi if you see uh, my screen uh, to the fourth option which is disable process so this is how you disable a process in your azure devops boards if you want to make a process as your default you can set as default process and that's it and that's all about the processes available in azure devops boards if you found this video useful, do hit like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and keep supporting.